Hey everybody, Warren here. I am uh, brought out my little toys because I think that uh, my blog is all about success in dentistry and life and I spend a lot of my time enjoying life and guitar, playing guitar, writing songs and playing music is one of my passions. Especially in the winter when it's uh, minus 22 out today. I'm not going outside to play any snow golf today. Um, anyways, my blog this week was about the scammers out there and uh, I just wanted to talk to you because I've been around for a long enough time. I've seen unfortunate friends of mine get burned by uh, some of these scams. And some of the ones that you hear about where the guy's got uh, $5 million in a suitcase and it's covered with a special oil that, that uh, needs to be removed by a special chemical and they're gonna fly it out of the country and uh, bring it to you as long, but they need some transportation money. They need $10,000 to escape the country with the suitcase with oil all over the bills, you know, and, and then they'll get the special chemical to you for another $5,000. I actually know somebody who got burned by that scam. And, uh, you know, it's sad because he is a friend. A lot of my dentists over the 26 years that I've been doing this have become my friends, my close personal friends. And it's sad when you see a guy that's getting towards the end of his career and he, he's done very well for himself buying into these things. And you're, you're telling, you're saying it as a friend. I'm like, my friend, it's so obvious. It's a scam. You know, the guy's taking you for a ride and he's like, no, no, it's coming through. And I've got this other thing coming through and you can just recognize everyone's a scam. And, and these are some smart people. Besides that though, I have seen other dentists take advantage of dentists by claiming to be gurus and offering uh, quick profits for their practice. My personal belief is that if you provide a good service, if you're the best store around and you don't need to be putting on pressure, if you're helping people, people will come to you. People will come to you as a dentist because you're a good dentist and you provide a good service. My focus today was about um, basically making your money. I'm sorry, I don't believe that it's gonna be a get rich quick uh, thing. I think it's gonna be get rich and feel good about what you're doing by becoming efficient. It's amazing to me how many dentists won't look at proven products for increasing their efficiency in the practice, doing the same things that you do every day already. Performing x-rays, why haven't you looked at digital x-ray yet? It takes, it takes seconds to take a digital x-ray that you can use to inform your patient, educate your patient on the treatment plan that you're doing. It's a proven technology. I understand the upfront investment is heavy, but it is exactly that. It's an investment. Instead of putting $20,000 into some oil stock that you know nothing about, put 20,000 into your own practice and, and use it to make yourself more efficient. Think about the return on that investment. Instead of a six minute turnaround on those x-rays, you're talking seconds. Not only that, but you're increasing your patient's awareness of their own dental health. How can you lose on that? Another proven technology that kind of baffles me, but at the same time I understand is, is, is CAD CAM dentistry. The, the problem to me is that it's a very expensive product right now. And uh, there's some hidden costs. Make sure when you explore this, um, this technology that you understand that a, a, there is a learning curve, which I consider a cost to doing business. And there's also some ongoing maintenance hidden costs. Make sure that when you, before you sign any contract, you know exactly what this product is costing you up front. Anyways, good dentistry. A lot of you are already giving out or prescribing uh, ceramic, full ceramic crowns in the posterior. And I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to use this product to um, have a franchise within your own practice. It saves your patients from having to schedule several appointments. Again, it adds to the efficiency of the practice. It's healthy. There's been a lot of arguments about, you know, I'm gonna give it a little more time. I've seen some failures. This is the problem. Here's another thing to think about. Some of the failures you've seen are people when they first get the machines and they're learning how to use the product. With all of your dentistry, and I'll be honest, is every piece of dentistry that you've ever performed, is every procedure you've ever performed been perfect? Or have you gone back into some of your patient's mouths and wish you could redo it? And have some of those patients maybe gone to another dentist that's looked at that work and thought, hmm, I wonder who did this work? Everybody has days like that. This is not a perfect science. A lot of the CAD CAM dentistry that you're judging as bad dentistry is just a matter of a learning curve. Some of these dentists that went from that spot have 
done some beautiful work now. You get good at it, it takes time. When you're good, it's a very good investment for your practice. Not for everybody at this point because of the price point, it takes a lot of volume to pay it off. But it's worth considering if you're probably performing, say in the posterior region, if you're doing $3,000 a month lab bill, you should consider this technology. The last thing um, I want to talk about is laser dentistry. Another technology has been on the market for many, many years. Another way to increase your efficiency, but also to perform some procedures, again, that you might not even consider um, just because they weren't efficient, they were painful for your patient. Take a look at, just educate yourself on laser dentistry. Soft tissue laser in particular has a very good return on investment and it's not uh, a scam. I mean, it's good dentistry. It's healthy for your patient. There's lots of evidence to pr prove what is being done with this product. Again, though, you might find some of these guys telling you all these different procedures that you're not comfortable performing. Don't buy it for that reason. Buy it for the dentistry you already do or would consider doing in a, in a better method. Anyways, um, I think you get the idea of where I'm going with all this. If you're gonna listen to a guru, make sure that that guru makes you feel comfortable with what you're gonna do in your practice. If all they tell you is that you have to, if you go to a seminar, this is what really burns me. When you go to a seminar and they tell you, increase your fees 5% and, and go after all your overhead, cut your staffing costs or, or pay them only on an incentive program. There's a lot of things that if you're not comfortable with it, it's not going to work for your practice. You have to believe in what you're doing. If you want a long-term success in your practice, you have to believe the guru. Take what you need out of that seminar and leave the rest behind. I think just adding 5% to your bottom line can be done easily by becoming more efficient. So thank you for listening and watching my rants and raves. I hope you're getting something out of this. I do this as a free service, uh, providing my 26 years in the business. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoy it and uh, rock on. We'll talk to you soon.